Welcome back to my channel, Higher Mathematics, and really interesting challenge today. x plus x, y plus y equal to 54, and we should find x plus y. What is it equal for? How can we find our x plus y? In this video, I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this correctly and step by step. First of all, let's rewrite our challenge. So we have x, so we have in the beginning we have x plus x, y plus y equal to equal to 54. First of all, I look at this expression x, y plus y. We can easily factor y from this from this expression, or we can easily factor x from this expression. So let's do it uh, with x, okay? Let's do this. Okay, so we have x, and inside parentheses, if right here we have 1, right here we have only y. So 1 plus y, 1 plus y, and plus y equal to 54. So our first step, we just factor x from this expression x plus x y. What are we going to do next? Let's add one to both sides. Okay, so right here let's add one to left hand side and to right hand side. So we have x times one plus y plus y and add one to this expression and to right hand side. So we have 54 plus one. Why I do this? Because right here if you look closely we will have y plus one. Absolutely the same expression is through here, not y plus 1. Let's write it as 1 plus y, the same expression. So we have x times 1 plus y and plus, right here we can group as 1 plus y also, which is equal to 55. Okay? Okay. Let's factor 1 plus y from here and from here. We can easily factor it because we have absolutely the same expression. So we have 1 plus y and times x plus 1, x plus 1 equal to, equal to 55. Okay, right now we can, we can rewrite this 55 as a product of two values. We, we should do this because we have a product of two values inside these parentheses. Uh, we have first parentheses times second parentheses. So how can we express this 55? Let's start to think a little bit about this expression 55. We have 11 times 5. Yeah, we have, oh, let's write it as 11. Okay, 11 times 5, the first expression. Second expression, 5 times 11. Okay, 5 times 11. Third expression, 55 times 1. 55 times 1. And the third one, 1 times 55. But let's look closely, for example, at this, at this expression. Obviously, x is greater than 1. Okay, B, x is greater than 1 or equal than 1, x is greater or equal than 1, and y is greater or equal than 1 from this, from these parentheses. Because n is natural, natural numbers. As I told before, n is, uh, x and y is natural number. Then a product x, x times y is also greater or equal than, greater or equal than 1. Okay? So right here, if you look closely to our challenge, if we add 1 to uh, 1 plus number that is greater or equal than 1, then whole parentheses, so this parentheses, is greater or equal than 2. And this parentheses is also greater or equal than 2. This is really important moment because we can easily reject these two, these two solutions. Because parentheses is greater or equal than 2. So we interested only in these cases, in this case and in this case. We don't need our about this third and fourth case because parenthesis is greater or equal than 2. So we have two system of equations. So the first one on the left hand side, let's write our first system of equation x plus 1 equal to 11 equal to 11 and y plus 1 equal to equal to 5. Okay? And the second system of equation we have x plus 1 equal to 5 so x plus 1 equal to 5 and y plus 1 equal to 11. So to a system of equation, we reject, we reject this from here, okay? So let's, let's do this. Let's find our final step. So we should find x plus y. We should find our x plus y in the beginning. So x plus y equal to, so let's, let's subtract from here. We have x plus 1 plus y plus 1 and minus and minus 2, which gives us 11 plus 5 and minus 2 equal to equal to 14. So our answer to this challenge x plus y equal to equal to 14. 
This is my solution to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you still have any question, write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Also, thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.